I hope you are doing amazing. If you are new, my name is Viv, and I personally struggled with restricting and binge eating and yo-yo dieting for over 10 years of my life. And I actually, it's been five years since I struggled with binging, and I actually got a glimpse of the pain that I went through over those 10 years this past weekend because I went through a very emotionally tough day and I noticed myself wanting to grab and go to food to soothe those emotions and I definitely ate more than I wanted to and it just brought back the pain of how shameful how shameful I felt when I was stuck in that cycle, how awful I felt about myself, the the knock in my confidence, all of those emotions rushed back this past weekend and it reminded me why I do what I do, why I coach the women that I coach, why it is so important that I, I, I post and produce this content to help women that were in the position that I was to finally overcome binge eating and finally feel in control of their eating habits again. And in today's video, I wanted to touch on a topic that is so important on your journey to overcoming binge eating. And this is something that I had to learn and implement in my own journey. And it was not until I mastered this habit that I was able to translate these habits into my binge eating recovery journey and overcome it and finally stop yo-yo dieting and not just master my eating habits, but also master my relationship with my body and my overall health and fitness. And that habit was learning how to become a woman of my word. Meaning, if I said I was going to do something, I did it. If I promised or made a commitment, I followed through on it, no matter how I felt. And that also meant being very careful with what I said yes to. Not just saying yes to everything because I would feel bad if I said no. I am only going to say yes to things that I genuinely want to do, and know that I will fully commit to. That was vital. That was so vital because overcoming binge eating requires so many different habits that if I did not learn how to be a woman of my word, I would not have followed through on those habits that eventually would lead me to overcome binge eating. To give you an example, One of the key habits to help me overcome binge eating was pausing and checking in with myself before I eat. However, if I am a woman who continually breaks promises to myself, I will tell myself, okay, I will pause before I eat, but then I won't follow through because I'm so used to breaking the promises and the commitments that I make to myself. So I had to learn how to gradually become the type of woman who completely followed through on what she promised to do. And because I was so used to breaking promises to myself, I had to start small so that I would not overwhelm myself. So to give you an example, I could not just say, okay, I'm going to become a woman of my word and I'm going to go to the gym six days a week, two hours every single day. That would have been a commitment that I just knew there was no way I could commit to. There's no way that even on my good days, I would fully commit to. So I had to start setting commitments and promises to myself that were truly doable for me. And I remember at the start of my binge eating journey, one of the promises that I made to myself was at 9 a.m. every single morning, I am going to start a workout at home. I don't have to finish it. I don't even have to do longer than 20 seconds, but I have to put on my running shoes. I have to put on my workout clothes and I have to, at the very least, start a workout. I knew that that was a commitment that did not feel too overwhelming 
that even on my worst days and on my tired days, I could follow through on it. So I did. I set that commitment. I said, no matter what, I'm going to make this happen every single day. It's not too much for me. I am committing to it. And so every single day, I made sure that at the very least started a workout. And sometimes that meant I did a five minute workout. Sometimes I meant and that meant I did an hour long workout. But again, the length of time of the workout was not the goal. So it didn't matter. The only goal was that I started the workout. That is it. And what that did was it helped me finally build confidence in myself because I showed myself, hey, I can be a woman who sticks to my commitments. But that is because I made commitments that were doable for me. And because that helped build my confidence, then I was able to set bigger commitments and bigger goals. And from there, I was able to build on that and continue to challenge myself. And that confidence, then I was able to take and translate over into my binge eating. So one habit, for example, that has really helped me overcome binges and stop binges before they happen is if I notice I'm I'm reaching for food out of emotion, I will immediately go on a walk. However, I would not have been able to get myself to go on a walk if I did not have the confidence from the other habits that I built showing myself, hey, I can follow through on my commitments to myself. All of these small habits that I implemented in order to help me overcome binge eating were only possible by first showing myself that I could follow through on what I said I was going to do even when it felt so difficult. That is why it is so important that number one, you start small with the commitments and the promises you make to yourself. Stop making promises and commitments that you know you aren't gonna stick to. All that's going to do is knock your self-confidence and make you feel like you won't be able to ever overcome binge eating or achieve your goals because you never follow through on what you say you're going to do. You need to meet yourself where you are and only set goals and commitments that you genuinely know and feel like you will follow through on. And then from there, you can, you can increase the level of difficulty. But if you continue to push yourself and say, oh, I should be able to do this, knowing that that goal is too difficult for you, all you're going to do is knock yourself confidence and struggle to implement any habit because you have this subconscious belief that you can't do what you say you're going to do. You can't do hard things. You can't do it. You're not capable. That's what happens when you set commitments and promises and goals that are too high or too much for where you're currently at. It's okay to start very small. As you saw with my workouts, I didn't even set a length of time. I didn't even set a type of workout I need to do. I just said I need to put on my running shoes, my workout clothes, and then start whatever workout. That's it. Again, for most people, doing a one-minute workout is not overwhelming at all. But the reason why they don't do it is because they feel like it's too small And because it's so small, it doesn't matter and it doesn't count. But that is not true. It does matter and it does count because even if you start so small where you don't feel like it's going to make a difference, what you don't see is that it's going to help build your confidence, which is then going to allow you to set bigger goals, which is then going to allow you to make progress. But you have to start small so that you can build your confidence in yourself, actually trust that you can follow through on your word and then from there you can set bigger goals in habits. But if you try to say, oh, I that's way too small so I'm gonna start over here where I feel like it's actually gonna make a difference even though it's a big goal and you don't follow through on that or you're inconsistent because it's too hard and too difficult, again, you will knock your self-confidence and that is not fair to you. You can't expect yourself to be perfect. You can't expect to, yourself to jump from level one to level 10. You need to go from level one to level two. So ask yourself, what is a commitment that is small enough that I know that I can follow through on every single day that will help me build my confidence and help me build my trust in my word to myself and who I am? Because I promise you that confidence you are going to be able to take into your binge eating journey and overcoming binge eating because you you will actually be able to follow through on the word and habits that you set to yourself. But you have to start small and stop 
overreaching and stressing yourself out and expecting yourself to be perfect when you struggle to keep any promises to yourself. Start small. You need to start small, okay? You need to start small. And this is a realization that I had to make to help me finally overcome binge eating. I wish you the best of luck on your journey. And if you wanna see more content from me that will help you along your journey, then you can follow me on Instagram at Vivian No and on TikTok at Vivian No with an underscore at the end. And if you wanna see other habits and tips that have helped me overcome binge eating, then go ahead and click on this video right here. And otherwise, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much. And I'm sending you all of the love and support on your journey, my friend. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.